dive instructor in the U.S. Virgin Islands, work at Koki Dive Center. Took this guy for a fantastic DSD dive underwater. Think he had a good time with it. Come dive with us. <laughs> Here's what we got going for. So, you ready? we went on our first. Ready. We just get to go for an adventure dive. Okay. Definitely a fascinating part of the world if you've never been underwater and you've seen those underwater videos on National Geographic things. Oh, Number one rule. Never hold your breath. Never hold your breath. <laughs> They're still in there when we come back, man. We'll shoot them. Yeah, it's not that deep. Yeah, it was dope, right? It was dope, yeah, yeah. yeah.
I had to get used to um, just the breathing technique, but once you do that and you clear your ears out, easy. You can't breathe through your nose. That's that's the main key you gotta take away. Once you get that through your head, you're all right. It's not that big of a deal. It's super easy if you're doing what you're supposed to. That was a dope experience. Uh, we just did the Discover Diving at Koki Beach. Definitely recommend it. And um, if you go, talk to Squid. He's a dope diver. On the way down, he got bit by um, a, a, fire, a fireworm. Uh, looked like it tore him up. I wasn't no part of that, but either way, the experience was a good one. It was fun. So at this point in time, we've been here in Koki. We've been to uh, Megan Bay Beach. We've been to Trunk Bay Beach, and this one is a lot more crowded than the other two. Um, I think that uh, Megan's Bay was getting up there with the crowd, and then um, Trunk Bay was yeah. the least crowded. I mean, like the girls on the island told me, they said, if you want to like party, you know, you come to Koki, it's the turn up beach, everybody has fun here. Some of them is their favorite beach, and then Megan's is more laid back, right? And then, if you want to like not be around anybody where it's like very chill you go across on the ferry right the red barge to st john's and then you go to trunk bay trunk bay it was i mean there was people there but in comparison it was barely anybody there you know wasn't much going on or it's just like everybody's minding their business not being bothered by nobody because st john's is uh the infrastructure there is a little bit better the roads are definitely more well done than here in St. Thomas. So it's more of a um, upscale island, upper class citizens, that type of thing. I don't know, I mean, we only saw just a little bit of, of St. John's, so. Yeah, but it, uh, St. John's is smaller than St. Thomas, though. It take, what, 30 minutes to get around St. Thomas? Probably take yeah. 15 to get around St. Thomas. What we didn't have enough time to do was to um, just explore around St. John because we went straight to the beach and that was it. Saw some interesting stuff. If you haven't seen the video, um, then check out the video um, on Trunk Bay Beach, and also check out the, the video, other videos about um, the Virgin Islands and St. Thomas and St. John and so on. So Squid just gave us a lowdown on a local spot to get some good, authentic Caribbean food. So we're heading there next.